I think it's a good chance in the 2030s that we will be on Mars. In fact, there's no physics reason why we can't do it. This week, NASA confirmed the existence of flowing liquid salt water on the red planet. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where mysteries beyond imagination await, there exists a realm that has forever captured the fascination of both scientists and dreamers alike. This realm, the enigmatic red planet known as Mars, has beckoned humanity to unravel its secrets and explore its desolate beauty. Among those who have heeded this cosmic call, one name stands out, Michio Kaku, a visionary physicist and co-founder of the string field theory. With a fervent passion for the cosmos, Kaku has ignited the flames of curiosity by shedding light on a series of mesmerizing revelations, a cascade of cosmic wonders unearthed by none other than NASA itself. In a riveting dance of exploration, Kaku has unveiled the breathtaking symphony of Martian weather, shattering the preconceived notions that once held sway. Gaze upon Mars, and a dynamic tapestry of meteorological marvels shall be revealed. No longer shall we perceive this crimson world as a barren wasteland, for it is a stage where dust storms of unimaginable scale rage like celestial tempests, engulfing the planet in a shroud of mystery for months on end. Is there life on Mars? It's a question scientists have pondered for years. But now we might be close to an answer. The very atmosphere of Mars, a whispering enigma, undergoes rapid metamorphoses, shifting in ways that defy the very essence of predictability. Instruments such as the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and the Mars Climate Sounder have woven a symphony of data, unraveling the threads of Martian climate with meticulous precision. Like a cosmic ballet, Mars follows its own seasons, its icy polar caps performing a celestial choreography that mirrors our very own Earth. A dance of carbon dioxide, of growth and retreat as ice holds its dominion over the Martian poles. But amidst this cosmic ballet, a tempestuous partner emerges, the largest dust storms in the solar system, a tempest that veils the planet in a cloak of obscurity. Within this mysterious realm, Curiosity, the intrepid rover, has traversed the landscape and witnessed the delicate embrace of frost and snow, where Gale Crater's frigid depths echo with tales of humidity and ground frost. Yet, it is not only the Martian weather that has raised eyebrows and heartbeats. A revelation of immense proportions has coursed through the cosmic airwaves. Water, the lifeblood of our own blue orb, has been discovered on this arid, rust-hued land. A cosmic oasis once deemed barren now beckons with hints of ancient liquid, mirroring our own past, our own hopes. Advanced imaging and intrepid rovers have painted a tapestry of water's tail, etched in minerals like hematite and gypsum, mirroring Earth's own watery embrace. So in the ancient past, we have some indications of water was flowing on the surface, but how much water was there? But the cosmic truth runs deeper as radar instruments probe beneath the surface, revealing hidden reservoirs akin to our own Great Lakes. The quest for life beyond our celestial cradle has ignited a fire within the hearts of scientists, and on Mars, the embers of hope are stirred. Organic molecules, the very building blocks of existence, have been unveiled on this red canvas. Curiosity's dance upon Gale Crater's ancient lake bed has revealed whispers of benzene and propane, the cosmic echoes of potential life. And though these molecules do not spell out the definitive presence of life's touch, they paint a canvas of potential, a cosmic possibility that stretches across the reaches of time and space. With seismic intensity, Kaku unveils a realm of rumbling, a symphony of vibrations echoing through the Martian crust. Marsquakes, they are called, akin to the tremors of Earth, but born from the depths of a planet bereft of tectonic dance. In sight, a sentinel from humanity has journeyed to Mars's embrace, its seismic experiment for interior structure, S.E. Ice, listening to the whispers of these celestial echoes. These quakes, both subtle and profound, whisper tales of the planet's innermost secrets, revealing the very core of Mars's being. And in a crescendo of cosmic artistry, Mars unveils its nocturnal glow, a dance of light painted across its atmospheric canvas. 
illumination in the darkest of hours, a testament to the chemical symphony unfurling in its upper reaches. Carbon dioxide, that cosmic dancer, splits and reunites, weaving a tale of light that pulsates with the rhythms of the cosmos. This dance, a reflection of the winds that carry whispers of Mars's past, tells of a world that breathes, that lives even in the shadows. Yet the cosmic surprises do not wane, for Kaku's revelations reach back through the eons to a time when tsunamis surged across the Martian plains, a revelation that paints Mars not as a barren wasteland, but as a world once adorned with the liquid embrace of ancient oceans. Remnants of these cataclysmic waves etched in stone speak of a Mars that defies its desolate visage. These colossal waves, a cosmic aftermath of meteoric fury, painted a world once lush with liquid bounty, leaving behind echoes of what once was. As we gaze upon the cosmic dance that Kaku unveils, we find ourselves immersed in a story of cosmic wonder. Each revelation, a brushstroke on a canvas painted with the dreams of generations, ignites our passion to explore and to seek the truths that lay beyond our reach. In the world of Mars, we find echoes of our own history, our own potential, and the tantalizing possibility that we are not alone in the cosmic sea. With every discovery, Michio Kaku beckons us to look to the stars, to embrace the cosmic ballet that awaits, and to dare to dream of the wonders that lie just beyond the horizon.